gang, and as promised, I wanted to talk or put out a video talking about um, the fall meet and greet uh, down here in Maryland, uh, specifically, specifically starting with uh, the Timonium train show. Um, the and of course, I probably should have pulled it up. It probably would have made things a lot easier. Um, I believe the doors open over there at ten. Um, on October the 15th. So, um, the plan would be um, to probably meet up over there in the parking lot. I'm going to say somewhere between 10, 10, 30, because usually that first half hour or so, it gets a little, the, the, the line gets, gets a little long, so it, we'll wait for it to die down a little bit. Maybe we'll just get over there, we'll hang out in the parking lot for a little bit, and then we can we can head into the show. Um, and we'll do that for however long. Um, usually, if you do the whole thing, it'll take, I don't know, two to three hours easily. Maybe a little longer if you really want to stop and, and watch or look at the, uh, the modular layouts that are on display there. And there's going to be quite a few. Um, so that's that's pretty much that. There is um, a cafe, I guess per se, on the inside. Um, hot dogs, hamburgers, things of that nature. Um, I think they've got some other things too, but that's usually what's there. Um, as I've mentioned before, as they call it, the South Hall, which is when you walk in to the left, is main, mainly vendors and folks that have tables uh, with stuff for sale. There are a couple of layouts over on that side as well. Uh, usually the American Flyer, uh, local American, uh, Fly, American Flyer group has a, um, has a, uh, has their setup over there. Um, there's like, I think one or two Z scales over there as well. Um, and then on the, the north side or the north hall, uh, from the center hall, which is where you walk in, that's where 90% of the modular layouts are. There are a couple of vendors over there. Those are usually your S and O scale, G scale, and larger. Um, I'm not saying that the, the south hall ha doesn't have that stuff, but the north hall usually has one wall where it's nothing but O scale, S scale, S scale stuff like that. Um, so that's the plan for the first day, probably after, as Emma goes running through, <laughs> after the train show, we'll probably come back here uh, to my place, we'll take a look at my layout, um, and then that'll be, that'll be that. I, as far as food and things of that nature for Saturday evening, I have no idea. Um, it's pretty much probably going to be a fend for yourself type of deal, <laughs> I hate to say, uh, but that's probably what's going to happen there. And then the 16th, again, um, I mentioned uh, originally thinking about doing one or both of the either Baltimore Streetcar Museum and the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Museum. Now, what I've decided to do because of the fact that I have been absolutely swamped and it's going to get worse because of uh, the bowling season starting, well, the next, next Friday is our league meeting and then the Friday after that we start. Um, actually, no, it's the second Friday after that we start. So Fridays for me are going to get tied up uh, again. Uh, so I just do not have the time to sit down and figure out all the nuances. This is the first time I've ever done this. You'll just have to bear with me. Um, and considering the fact that we're now in the end of August, it's just, there's just not enough time to pull a whole bunch of stuff together and say, yeah, this is what we're going to do, when we're going to do it. Um, I kind of like what we did up at Stra when what Sparky did with Strasburg, and that was the fact that here it is, this is where we're going to be, and go from there. Um, if I decide to do this in the future, I'll do it a little bit differently, but because this is the first time, and like I said, I just really uh, haven't had a chance to sit back and really dig in to um, a whole lot of stuff, I think this is going to be the better way to do it. We'll just do a free-for-all. You know, if you all want to go, if some of us want to go down to the, the, the street card museum, fine. If some of us want to go down to the B&O Museum, that's fine too. 
Um, the other, the there, the, but that's that's basically it. Now, one of the things that I am going to do in the description of this video is I'm going to put in the actual time frames of when everything opens and when everything closes. Uh, that's number one. Number two, I will put in the description different uh, lodging options in the area, and there are quite a few. Um, you can pick and choose what you want. Like I said, again, I just haven't had a chance to really dig into any of this. So it's just going to be, you're going to have to, unfortunately, you're going to have to dig in and take a look. Um, and again, um, the uh, food options. Um, there's plenty of places around here to eat. Um, you know, even at the fairgrounds, there's a... Um, there's a grill there, although I'm not sure how good it is. I've never eaten there. Uh, just outside of the fairgrounds, um, there is a Irish. Uh, there's an Irish pub. Um, there is a, I guess for lack of a better term, a um, a sports bar. It's called uh, High Tops. Um, and you know that that's just a couple of the things. There's there is a bunch of different restaurants up and down York Road. Uh, near uh, the fairgrounds, so there's a little bit of everything. I'm also kind of hoping, and this is a, probably a little bit of a long shot, but uh, across the street from there, there is also a place, uh, there's a China, uh, uh, well, the Chinese restaurant that's moving in used to be down here closer to where I'm at, and they, they had a dispute with their landlord, and they've been basically a year and a half trying to get the new place opened up, which, like I said, is across the street from uh, the fairgrounds. They used to have they they used to have some really good food if you're in the Chinese. Um, but um, like I said, I will try to pull to, or I am going to pull together a list of everything that's down here um, and what is going on, um, and you know we'll figure it out from there. Um, so, uh, I know that somebody had mentioned, and I think it may have actually been Heath, uh, had mentioned how close I am to where Model Train Stuff is. If you're familiar, ModelTrainStuff.com is down here in Cockeysville. Um, it's literally right up the road from the fairgrounds. Um, the issue is, is right before, uh, the showstopper, they went to an online only uh, they no longer have the ability for you to walk in and buy stuff anymore, which stinks because that would have been neat. What really would have been neat is if this would have been 20 some odd years ago and they were still downtown when they had their huge display of brass model, uh, model uh, locomotives and rolling stock. That would have been a neat thing to walk in for us to walk into, but unfortunately that's long since gone. Um, but yeah, I mean, and if there are any questions, my email is on my about page. If you're, and I've found this out the hard way, I didn't realize this, but if you're on, uh, watching the stuff through your phones or your, uh, tablets, um, it doesn't show up. Uh, the only other way or the other best way to get a hold of me is going to be through the, uh, Beauville Newtown. Uh, Facebook page and hit me up on Messenger. That's the other way of of doing it. Um, if you have questions, obviously you can leave them in the comments. I will do my best to get back to you. Uh, as you all know, I, I do watch my comments and I try to try to reply to everybody. Um, but that's really where we're at with this this meet and greet this fall. Like I said, I apologize in advance for not getting a whole lot of stuff together or saying, hey, this is what we're going to do, this is the time, so on and so forth. I just, unfortunately, I just do not have the time or the ability to sit down and deal with all of that. Um, so, like I said, if you're interested, if you're in the area, if you're not in the area, feel free, come on down, let's hang out and have some fun Alright, um, as you saw, one of the things that was in this video was talking about uh, the fall meet and greet. This section is about the 500 subscriber contest, to which, at the moment, as of today, um, as soon as it, my computer decides it wants to react, right, we've got 61 folks entered. 
uh, you have until Wednesday, the 31st, at midnight, Eastern, to get into the contest. I will link the video in the description to the 500 subscriber contest. Um, and that's basically all I've got for that. Um, there, I, I know I didn't... <laughs> Now, I didn't do a whole lot of work at all this week on the railroad, um, and that is because um, I'm actually in the process of embarking on a rather interesting um, endeavor, something that I've never done before, um, and I, that's all I'm going to say about it because you're, there will be stuff coming about what I'm working on. Uh, but there was a lot of, that was basically what I did, was a lot of work on on this side project, I guess is the lack of a better term. Um, there will be, uh, at some point this weekend, there will be a, uh, another short. I'm trying to do that, um, put up my normal videos, and then on Friday mornings, and then sometime over the weekend, sometime between Saturday morning and Sunday evening when Sidetrack Sunday starts, uh, putting up a, uh, a short. Speaking of Sidetrack Sunday, this Sunday, I'm not hosting Sidetrack Sunday. I'm actually taking the month off. Um, Rick from the Foltz Bailey Model Railroad will be covering for me this weekend. So, uh, look out for that. I have no idea what he's got planned, but hey, yeah, when, when Rick's running it, goodness knows what's going to happen. Um, so that's basically all I've got, and uh, you know what's coming. The outro is coming, so stick around. We'll be back. And you all know the deal. Wait for the highball. Green track's ahead. We'll catch you all next time. Be safe. God bless. We will see you and maybe at the meet and greet.